Hello and welcome back to Vintage Farming. Right, we are going for a nice mosey before the rain arrives. Only joking, we have so much to do. We've got loads of baling to get done. But yes, we are going for a mosey only to look at a new field. So initially, I wanted to purchase a small forest area and build a production a sort of complex. Unfortunately, the forest area on this map has these little mushrooms and little sticks and all that which is beautiful for a forest. Unfortunately if you do try to landscape any of this it uh, it doesn't go away. All the foliage here, all of it is part of... I'm sure I could take it away in uh, what is it, a Giants Editor. I haven't fully worked out how to use that yet um, but uh, it's fine. There's very few changes that I really would want to make. Uh, plus Potentially I'll save a forest for doing actual forestry. So we'll look into that. Maybe I'll buy a small forest plot and repopulate the trees as I cut them down, which would be brilliant. Uh, but if this field here is actually the one in question uh, that I'm on about. So unfortunately it is only half fertilized um, and it will be a 75% yield bonus if we were to buy it. But it is ready to harvest and it's a substantial size uh, of a crop as well. So we can look at the map and see it is field 62. So it's not very, very close. I didn't want to buy a crop or an area very close to the farm. I did want a bit of travel for production purposes. So that's why I've, I reckon 62. And I do like the uh, the, the 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 lines through um, through the field. It kind of adds a bit of I don't know authenticity. Nice big production unit over there as well. So I, I think it would be a good idea to to do something like this. Plus we'll get a crop out of it that we can either run through the mill when we do place it eventually or feed this to the cows or sell it. We've got many options. Either way we do have to pull a loan for it. Now I know that this is something that I don't necessarily want to do but it's not like we have any loan as it is uh, but the field is about £75,000 so I will only pull a loan for the field not for the productions. So that being said, uh, I don't know, I, I suppose we could just pull it, harvest it, and then go from there. Now, again, this is a complex that I'm slowly going to build up. It's going to be very bare for quite some time until we slowly build up to a point of being happy with it. See, for example, this little forestry area here would be quite nice, but there's a few. There's a few small ones that we could uh, invest in. And there's a sawmill as well down here. So many options in that regard. But I think, a again, this thought comes because I am tempted to stay on this map. Right, we, we are we are not switching to Zialonka for vintage. Still do a let's play. I, I do have some ideas for it. But yeah, there it is. Field 62. All right, let's get that loan pulled before the field gets harvested. So we'll go up to 75. There we are. Brilliant. And we will buy the field for 74367. Right, brilliant. Yeah, the uh, the local government or whatever, um, the farming co-op and that around the area have decided that I uh, have been doing well as a farmer of the area. So they've granted me a loan for this field to build a production complex so happy days thank you for that now let's head over to the baler because we have loads of baling to get done uh, that being said we did a, a loads of baling in the previous episode and over in the other field I don't know why but I missed you can see from here even there's rows that I've missed but we will carry on with the flax fiber this is a very interesting uh, well I was going to say crop but material because we can use it for clothing, which is very cool. So what I'll probably do is I will carry on with the baling, obviously. We have this baling to do. Clearly a bit of straw, regular straw I have to clean up. And uh, behind me is our hay field that is completely full of rows of hay that need to be dealt with. So I think this will be... I, I might start off in a time lapse, and yes, I will keep it at times one for now, because the rain is coming. Actually, well, I'll put it at times three and we'll see what happens because I would like to get everything baled at least before the rain and obviously we can't harvest uh, in the rain. 
So we might have to harvest in August, which might be possible. Okay, we'll just wait for this bale to come out and then we'll uh, check really quickly before we crack on. I might do this as a bit of a time lapse first, but I won't do the whole lot. Or if anything, I'll do a mixture of the hay and straw. All right, canola is good for two days, so we or two months rather, so we can wait. Is that all first? Wow, look at that. That is something. Oh, I think I'm still flying. Yeah, I can feel it. Very floaty. Look at that. Flax fiber is very red. That's similar to the linseed straw, actually, that we got from the linseed on Cool Farm. Very, very similar. Right, we'll crack on with this, and uh, and then we'll see what happens. We'll probably wait till at least the rain has passed, but we might just do the harvesting in the afternoon. hay bale. We won't get quite a full bale with the remainder here, but that's absolutely fine because uh, we've got quite a bit. We've got loads of bales and the rain did come early as it would, as you'd expect it would do. Um, but it, we did have a fairly successful uh, baling session, I suppose. We had six hay bales here. I don't think we have a counter on this. So we've got six there. We can check how many we've made in total. Fifteen Right, so we do have the ones over here as well, our flax seed, or sorry, flax fiber bales. So that's really good. Two, four, six, eight of them. And then I did go over there and fix up some of the straw as well. And uh, yeah, the, the rain is here. So now what we'll do is we'll get in the combine, which is hiding under the tree there. We'll have to attach to the trailer. We'll take it down to our new field in preparation to harvest. Obviously we won't be harvesting in the rain, uh, but we should be able to harvest around 4 p.m., 4 o'clock. So we'll do that, we'll make our way over there, and uh, then we can prepare for harvest. We might end up resting though until 4, but until then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just get that so sorted and set up. All right, so we have the kit put away. We've got all the bales out, which is unfortunate, but it should be fine, at least they are baled um, and they can resist the moisture of the water, hopefully. Uh, right, I have attached the header trailer, luckily, to the lorry here, because we will have to most likely bring the lorry down. I will bring it anyways. Oh, we've got more flax in. That's right. Good thing I did. Right, I open that. Go get the remainder of the flax in. We'll bring it to the silo, of course. Um, but I do want to... get the header on, of course. We'll get that closed up. Right, so, get the header on. And we'll go dump the flax into the silo, and then we can make our way... See, this would be a nice opportunity to have a cab. Actually, I wonder... Can you... Oh, 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 oh. Alright, fantastic. Can you outfit this with a cab? Because maybe we should. I know it, I know it's more vintage without, but I mean... Oh, perhaps not. Oh, roof setup. Yes, you can for £1,700. Well, we're not harvesting in the rain, but you know what? I think we've earned this. It's not like... It's not... <laughs> it's not like harvesters back in the day didn't have... Oh, blimey got too excited about having a cab. It's not like harvesters back in the day didn't have uh, a cab, for example. 
So, yeah, we're going to take this because it's obviously raining, pouring buckets down on us right now. So, <laughs> we're going to go to the... We have a workshop right here at the farm. So, we'll go in there. We'll add on the cab to our harvester uh, so we don't get soaked while we're driving. And it would be nice. You know, a bit of a change of pace. Something new. New addition for the, uh, the harvester. We have had it for a while and I really don't see a reason to replace it. Um, it's just, it's too good. Yeah, we really don't need to. Uh, so yes, we will get this added on. And I know it's more money spent that we don't really have, but we do have lots coming in from the uh, harvest here as well. So we will slowly be building up our financial side of things. Uh, even though I know we have a loan now, but that's fine. Uh, it's all part of the business. Right, let's get into the workshop, get this changed up. Well, that is perfect like a glove really that fit just perfectly in there see we don't need a bigger harvester this is perfect size and a great place to store it actually um, might as well repair it for such a small amount and yes let's add on oh nice and we get the uh, the double double roof oh we didn't right we had that feature but we didn't we didn't uh, have the roof, so we couldn't benefit from it. Well, now we can, so everyone can see that we are coming down the road. Oh, that's very strange. Well, that's the uh, American style, I think. But no, we will keep it classic as we can do. Just a bit of extra uh, money into the cab itself, which I think is fine. I think that looks good. It's still very vintage. The mirrors might get knocked off here, but... Beautiful, look at that. And now beacons, oh yes. Fantastic, right, so we're gonna make our way down to field 62, and then we'll come back for the grain truck, which we have to unload the flax, and then we'll bring that down there as well. Right, we have arrived, uh, albeit from a slightly different direction than we came before. So I'm just going to park here for now. This seems like a natural place to be able to put this for the time being. Uh, but yes, this will be quite uh, full of moisture now. But we will come in when the rain is done, and that should be all good. So we'll go back to the farm. We have to get the... Where is it here? Right, we're all set up, ready to go. We'll go and unload the grain first and then we'll head over to join the combine all right we have arrived at the new field now just remember this is not a, a new field to be a field because that would have been I don't know maybe a bit cheekier if I had decided to pull a loan, buy this field, and then turn it into more crop. Now, it is a nice size field, but it's just far from the farm, which is, again, the whole reason for it. I did want it a bit further away, so that when it comes to adding productions, um, we have a bit of a travel to do, which is absolutely fine. This was fine. Nice little drive through this beautiful map, not a problem at all. Uh, as you can see, though, it is still coming down heavily. The sun, though, is on the forecast. So we'll have a kip in the uh, in the truck here, and we'll see you when uh, it's done raining. And incredibly, it looks like a whole new day, but it is just a matter of an hour or so. Um, aside from the dirtiness of the cab, <laughs> they install a new cab and make sure it's dirty, just like the rest of the combine. Fair play, fair dues to them. At least they uh, are consistent say that to say the least right so my plan is yeah I might as well harvest along the outside here first I'll do a headland of course I think we're gonna switch from bales though to chop straw because we have that mod I will of course make certain that we do so I'll do one strip at least and uh, we can see if it does actually work but it should do it should work absolutely fine hence the mod name uh, but yeah, that should be giving us a fertilized, uh, additional fertilized, uh, sorry, fertilization, one stage of, oh, 
don't want to stop though because it will stop fertilizing. So we will just get to the end here and then we can have a look and see but I'm almost certain that we are getting one stage of fertilization which is brilliant. It won't be perfect, it never really is, especially when there's lots of stopping and starting. So you, unless you can strategically not hit the poles in the middle of the field, or at least don't let it... Okay, see, there'll be a small gap there in the fertilizer, but that's fine. <laughs> Just as I was saying it. I was talking more about when you finish, when you're harvesting or something, and then you have to stop, right? But it'll just go like that, and then it should have covered that whole area. So we've done that, and we'll check the... Oh, right, okay, so it's a bit confusing, but yeah, so this has was only 50% fertilized to begin with when I bought it. So, as you can see, there is that section there, it is being fertilized, so that's absolutely fantastic. It's a small section that got fertilized twice. Strange. I didn't think you could fertilize when it's ready to harvest, but anyways, it doesn't matter. We are getting in our canola. So yeah, we'll do a headland. This field is much bigger, actually, than I uh, am used to with this size of combine. But at the same time, uh, I'm here for it because it is a nice size. And really, my I, I do like the smaller fields, and we could have had a very nice, small, tight sort of uh, production yard which would have been great uh, but I, I like that this is a bit bigger gives us a chance to explore even more future productions maybe this could be production for everything we could put all of our wanted productions in here as well um, particularly in mind is the BGA of course that, that one I've been on and on about I did recently uh, just put that or install it or build it or whatever you want to call it on um, Cool Farm and I'm very pleased with how it turned out on there. Um, but we'll get a final... We, I, I don't think... Yeah, so that video that I posted, it would have been on the Thursday, so a couple of days ago from when this posts. And uh, I don't think I did the reveal of the BGA yet, so that'll be on Tuesday's episodes. Um, these, by the way, this particular episode and... A few other ones. I haven't scheduled them all just yet, but they are being recorded in advance. So, uh, because I'm on a bit of a holiday, so, <laughs> so that well, I will be by the time that this is posted. So, it's an opportunity for me to do a bit of batch recording. Um, it's been a very busy preparation week. It's like you have to extra busy just to go on on the holiday. Uh, but that's fine. It's sort of a holiday. But yeah, nevertheless. Oh, I'm fertilizing his crop now. You're a very welcome neighbor. Very neighborly thing to do, I suppose. The new, the new farmer on the uh, in the area. Right. First person was much more beneficial here with that tree. Anyways, yes. So that is why I may not reply to comments as quickly uh, or as frequently as I normally would, but I will do my absolute best to do so. Right, well there we have at least a start to... it is it is a bit funny to see because you can't tell where it's been fertilized and where it hasn't, but I think if we do another headland should be best. I kind of like going up and down that far side there, actually. I'll do one more headland, and then I will start going up and down the field. Uh, but I'll go up this way first again, just because it is the longest. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be a bit annoying, but it'll be fine. We'll we'll, we'll get past these these uh, pylon poles, whatever you want to call them, um, that are in the field. But I think... Well, I don't know. This could be 5 minutes, could be 20 minutes. Hard to say. But I will crack on with it. We are nearly 50% of a hopper. Let's see if I can... Ooh, quick maneuvers. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Ha! What, what obstruction, right? Right. Anyways, we will, <laughs> we'll crack on. I'm just very excited about how the how vintage is progressing. I uh, once again am very pleased how the vote went uh, in favour of doing Zilonka as its own standalone play, uh, let's play. Um, as I said before, I do have some ideas for it, so I'm excited for it. But not for vintage. Vintage will stay on this map, 
and uh, really explore some wicked productions. Right, we'll get lined up again and go in the other way, and then we can break off into a time lapse. Just about done the canola harvest. We might be able to fit the last bit into the combine. Here's to hoping. Um, that was even for 50% fertilized. I think that was a really good yield, especially considering that we uh, we had it all harvested. All we had to do was harvest. Oh, sorry, all all um, drilled and all. But we didn't have to uh, do anything but the harvest itself. So not bad. Not bad considering, and yes, I know we pulled the loan for it, and I know the price of the canola might not cover that, but in the future, it will definitely be worth it, because there we have it. So now, I'm excited to see how the fertilization looks. Oh, is that legit? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So when we come back next time to... Uh, oh no, we won't... Why? Why? I should have bailed it. We're not even putting a crop in. Why did I... Why <laughs> Why did I do that? I was so excited to chop straw and I've just realised now we're not even putting another crop in. Silly monkey. Well, actually, we might. I know I was saying about how cheeky it was that I pulled a loan for a new field, but we're not going to fill the whole area with a production. It's just not possible. Plus, we have no money. Maybe we should do one more harvest off it before we turn it into production because it is a nice big field perhaps we could do more flax because that was really good um, is there anything we can drill now sunflower actually we should probably wait till the next month yeah we might um, yeah flax is oh we can do flax in September we could do that yeah we have a few options for uh, drillable crops coming up so flax might be a good shout here actually there we go, all loaded in. 11,133 litres of canola from this field. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll just put this into the field here off the, off the path. And that has been a very successful uh, day. Absolutely. So, I mean, just looking at the, at the money we have here, flax fibre, we've got 60,000 litres, which is brilliant. But we are going to be turning that into more than cash. You'll see how. Uh, very exciting. Flax seeds as well. Look at how, how good of a price that is. But again, we if we can, we'll turn it into oil. 
versus selling directly as seed, but we don't have any money so we might have to sell it first. Uh, silage as well. The eggs are good. All of it's coming together very, very nicely. A beautiful end to a beautiful day. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it very much. And if you like the content you're watching, please subscribe. Until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.